Today we're going to talk about the to-do list that is built into Google Classroom. The to-do list provides a quick screenshot of all the assignments that are due, their dates, and a list of assignments that have already been completed. To reach the to-do list, you will open up the Google Classroom app as seen on the screen, and then you will click on the three lines that look like pancakes. Next, look for a clipboard with the words to do next to it. Once you click on the to do button, this screen will pop up. You will have the option to view items that are due in the to do column or that are items that are already complete in the done column. You can click on any assignment to open up that assignment directly inside of Google Classroom. I'm going to open up the first assignment that is missing called Math Connections Science Activity. I know that I have not turned in this assignment because in the bottom right hand corner you will see the word missing in red. To turn in the assignment you will click on the gray arrow and then click on Mark as Done. After you turn in the assignment you will see that the assignment has changed from missing to turned in. To go back to your to-do list, you're going to click on the arrow in the top left-hand corner of your screen. You can now see that the assignment that I just turned in is in the Done tab. And to view more assignments that are not complete, I can just click on To Do. I highly suggest that teachers and parents teach the students how to look at the to-do list inside of Google Classroom. This is a quick and easy way to view everything that is either due with due dates or anything that is complete. It is a less messy version of Google Classroom that provides direct links to all assignments.